Hi, my name is Kristen Gersley, and I used to have binge eating disorder. For the next five minutes or so, my husband's going to ask me some questions so that you can get to know the person that I used to be when I did binge, and then the person that I am now since I've overcome binge eating disorder. So Kristen, when did you start binge eating? I started binge eating when I was about 14 years old. Um, I remember babysitting a couple of times, and I had had a really bad day at school. And I opened the pantry to find so much food in there. Um, and then I just had the idea that I just wanted to eat it all. And after I did eat it all, I felt a lot better. I didn't have to think about, you know, whatever happened that day at school. And it was just like this rush came over me. And it, it just made it better. So when did your binge eating actually get out of control? It got out of control when I was in college. Um, I think because, you know, you're on your own. And um, I just could binge whenever I wanted. I didn't have to worry about my parents or anything. So in college, I would binge all of the time. And I remember coming home my first semester um, during Christmas, and I had gained about 20 pounds. And my mom was absolutely shocked, but I didn't. I couldn't tell her why I had gained so much weight. It was just. It was too embarrassing for me. And what were your typical binges like? I mean, did you eat a lot of different types of food? Yeah, um, actually, when I was when I would binge at home, I always had candy in the house. I always had chips in the house. I had dips, um, even bread and pastas. And I would just consume as much as I could in a matter of just minutes until I was absolutely stuffed. Um, when I was at work, I it was obviously a little bit harder, so I would go to Taco Bell, McDonald's, Sonic, any kind of fast food that I could get my hands on. I would um, hide the bags from the individual places in the back seat of my car so that the next place had no idea that I had just bought some food. And I would take all of it and go to a secluded parking lot and I would just eat everything. Everything. So, you want to show everybody actually what a binge was like back then? Yeah. Let's do that. You sure you're okay to do that? Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and we went out to go um, get all of the typical binge eating foods that I used to eat when um, I would be at work on my lunch break. So we stopped by a couple of fast food places, and here's what we got. I got, um, I would use to binge on a soft taco, a bean burrito, Chicken nuggets with ranch, nachos um, with the hot sauce mixed in, french fries, and to top it off with a quarter pounder with cheese, and then a drink. So, Kristen, I mean, what does it feel like to actually have binge eating disorder? Um, having binge eating disorder is probably one of the loneliest things I ever felt because um, this addiction to food is a lot different since you need food to function and to live every day. So um, it's really lonely. Uh, you have a lot of guilty feelings. You never want to leave your house. I kind of turned into a hermit. I just wanted to always be at home and I always wanted to know uh, when I would be able to binge next. I would get really anxious if people would ask me to go out to lunch because that meant that I wouldn't be able to binge in front of them. I would have to order a salad and play it off like, like I didn't have any problems with food. So um, it's just a really depressing, dark, lonely world that you live in, and you're trapped in it. So it was an addiction. You had an addiction to food. So how did you stop? How did you stop binge eating? How did you stop all of this? Um, well, when my husband, it was my boyfriend at the time, he uh, was off like on business for a week. And during that week, that would give me the go ahead to just binge. And I would, it, it was so exciting because I knew he wasn't going to be there. Um, but this time was a lot different because I realized that my life isn't normal and I definitely don't have um, a healthy relationship with food. So I did some research online and I found that there was something called binge, binge eating disorder. Um, when he came home, I bombarded him right at the front door. I was crying, and I just wanted to tell him all of the information I found. So he suggested that I go see a, th a therapist. So I went, um, and I 
I met with a therapist and it was really great because I got to figure out the root of why I binged. Um, along with any negative emotion that I was feeling. Uh, what was the root of why you binged? It, well, it was a mixture of stuff. I, would, I hated getting attention from men. And so I think I did it subconsciously so that I would feel less attractive and so the opposite sex wouldn't look at me because I just, it made me feel awful. Also, um, my dad was really strict, so I think in a way it made me feel like I was rebelling against him. And then I just learned it became a habit. So I was happy, I binged, I was sad, I binged, it didn't matter. So for you to stop, you were saying you met with your therapist. What, what happened there to make you realize, hey, there is actually a way that I can overcome this disorder? Okay, well, uh, it was really good for me to figure out the root. But then from there, uh, she and my husband told me that I should start journaling about <clears throat> excuse me, my good days and my bad days uh, to, see, to figure out some kind of a, a pattern of binging. So I did that, but then I also realized that something was still missing because I didn't feel good about myself. And so um, I started reading a lot of self-improvement books and uh, learning how to accept yourself and love yourself because that's what it's all about. If you don't love yourself, there's no way that you're going to feel like you deserve um, to be binge-free because you, don't, you just don't feel worthy of that. So I did all of that. I created, um, I put it all into an ebook, and um, that's how I stopped with personal development. So you put everything into an ebook because you knew other people had this the same problem out there. You knew there were other people out there that just didn't know how to get over mm -hmm. binge eating, and they felt the same things you did, right? Yeah, and it's really lonely. So when you get to reach out to those people, there's 2.5 million. When you can reach out to them, and I get an email that just says, wow, like, it's so amazing that you know what I feel. Like, that, that's just so comforting in itself to, to people out there. And what would you say is the route to overcome binge eating disorder? Would it be to work on yourself inside? Mm -hmm. Definitely. You, have to, um, you just have to learn to accept yourself. You have to not focus on you know, your failures if you, if you do slip and binge, because it's going to happen. Um, but you just have to pick yourself up and just move on and always continue to develop ah, develop a strong relationship with yourself. So you created a website, nbingeating.com, and your passion and what you do is help other people overcome binge eating, right? Yep. So should we show them that real quick and then okay. we'll wrap this up? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my website, nbingeating.com. It's the way that I reach out to people every day who are struggling with binge eating disorder. Um, I get emails all the time and it's just my way of um, helping people through my own trial and error uh, method. So here's my website. All right, so Kristen, last question. I mean, how is life different now that you've overcome binge eating like with your family? Um, my family, before, when I was binge eating, never wanted to go see them because every time I went, they had told me, oh, Kirsten, it looks like you've gained more weight. Um, now, I get along with my family so fabulously. Um, I absolutely love spending time with them, and um, family life just couldn't be better. All right. Speaking of weight, how's your weight changed since overcoming? Okay. Um, I was 190 pounds, so 10 pounds away from 200, and now I'm about 135. So I lost about 60 pounds. Um, I feel better about that, so that's really good. <laughs> self-esteem, how's that different? Um, my self-esteem now is so great. Um, I, I absolutely love myself. I can look in the mirror and say, wow, I look really cute today. I, um, I'm, just, I'm really positive overall about everything, and um, I would say my self-esteem is just really up there right now. All right, last one, restaurants. How has that changed? Oh, now I can go out to eat with people and I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I have to order a salad and pretend like my secret life doesn't exist. I, what you see is what you get now and there's no secrets left about me um, and everything's just really good. I'm proud of you. I love you. Thanks. <laughs>